Hi kids! My name is Martin Luther and I live in Germany. I am an Augustinian monk and God has given me the privilege to study both law and theology. But honestly, of all my studies, the Bible has been my best and greatest study. But shh, please don't tell anybody. Because the Bible is a forbidden book. If we are found reading one, the authorities will burn us alive. Yes, for more than a thousand years, the church has persecuted and killed so many Christians. But you know, I've just finished translating the New Testament into our own language. Yes, it's now in German, so people can read it and so that they can see for themselves what God's teaching actually are. And I hear that the scriptures are being translated into English also. Now, it's the year of the Lord 1521 AD. I'm just coming from Worms, a city here in Germany, and I'm very, very sad. I've tried my best to bring a change and a spiritual awakening to this church that I love so much, but it's impossible. The hive officers sent to Worms by the Pope himself didn't want me to talk. They only came to condemn me. They tried to convince me to change my mind about everything I have written. But honestly, kids, I can't abandon what I've written. Some of my writings have nothing to do with the church. They simply give advice for good behavior. Some of my other books are just the teaching of Jesus. But well, I also wrote specific points showing why, according to the Bible, many of the church teachings are wrong. And that's why I nailed 95 theses to the door of the cathedral in Wittenberg, so that anyone who knows how to read could easily understand the truth. Honestly, I cannot stop writing about the abuses of the church. I must show the people how wrong they are. I mean, can you believe that the church is selling a paper signed by the Pope that grants forgiveness for their sins? And with a generous donation of money to the church, they can even promise to forgive you before you have sinned. That's outrageous. That has to stop. It's blasphemy against God and people need to understand that only God can forgive the sins. We priests are also sinners and don't have the authority to forgive the sins of two others. On the contrary, the Bible says that Jesus is our only mediator and the second commandment forbids us from making images or bowing before them. We don't have to go through saints or priests to reach God. Jesus has already opened the way to the throne of God. Isn't that marvelous? Look kids, everything I'm saying is what I have seen with my own eyes. I always wanted to give my life to God and that's why I became a monk but I couldn't find peace at the monastery. For 15 long years, I thought that beating myself, fasting or suffering like Jesus did was going to get me closer to God and help me earn my salvation. I wanted to be a better Christian so God would listen to me and love me. <sighs> I thought God was an angry judge always waiting and ready to punish people for their wrongdoings. But, you know, I was so wrong. In 1510 AD, I went to Rome to visit the Holy See and all their relics there. I thought I was going to feel the presence of God in that place, but I was so disappointed to see these riches, pride and worldliness instead. Have you heard about the Holy Stairs in Rome? No? Well, many people believe those stairs are the exact stairways on which Jesus walked when he met Pilate. Yes, I believe that too, until one day, while I was climbing them on my knees, kissing each step, a Bible verse sounded in my ears, saying, The just shall live by faith. I felt that God was telling me that salvation was given through faith, not by works. Through faith. That's it, kids. I suddenly understood that we cannot buy heaven. No! To be saved, we need to believe and trust in Jesus instead. That's all. Nothing else is needed. Isn't that wonderful? Hmm? He gives us a new heart. And then, well, 
After that, you don't want to disappoint him. For example, by disobeying his commandments. You see, it becomes just as easy as breathing. You obey out of thankfulness to God and not because you must. The church has introduced many wrong teachings that come from the pagan religions. Listen, in the beginning the church didn't use candles or images. The disciples never wanted to be idolized, nor did Jesus order anyone to worship the communion bread. Then in the year 300, they taught that people could pray to the dead. Later in the year 431, the church said that Mary was the mother of God. But that's obviously not true. The Bible says that she was the mother of Jesus and only while he was here on earth. God doesn't have a mother. Then in the year 607, the church began calling the bishop of the church at Rome, father or pope. But Jesus says that we shouldn't call anyone else by that name except our father on earth and God in heaven. And there's more. In the year 1079, the priests were forbidden from getting married even though the Bible says that a preacher will be a better help to the church if he is married. They are already talking about adding other books to the Bible. Oh, kids, there are so many wrong things. But the church hasn't always been like this. No, the changes began when a famous Roman emperor named Constantine joined the church and helped her to get more power. Constantine was pagan and so he worshipped false gods, honored the sun and kept Sunday, the first day of the week holy. One day, Constantine said he had seen a vision and supposedly became a Christian. But he didn't actually leave his pagan beliefs behind. Nope. He continued to honor Sunday instead of worshiping God on the Sabbath as God has commanded. He also added his favorite pagan traditions to the teaching of the Christian church. It makes me so sad when I remember how the church and the teachings of Jesus have been corrupted by paganism. Hey kids, there's no need for a sad face. Be happy. A great work is being done. The Bible is being translated into many languages and people are finally able to read it for themselves. They are discovering the truth and protesting against the false teachings of the church. So children, do you want to do something great? Or do you want to be a real hero? Then help me share the Bible with others so they can see that Jesus is the only way to heaven. Auf Wiedersehen, Kids!